Hey guys, so today is Friday. I think I'm just gonna have a lazy day today. I feel like I've been going a little bit crazy just with everything, with the house and I don't know. I just feel like I've, I haven't been ever just like taking a lazy day, taking a break. Mommy. What? Hold on, Chase wants to say good morning. Good Go morning. <laughs> Noah, you wanna say good morning? <laughs> Madison thought he put a piece of paper in his mouth. He tried to. It was like hanging on his chin. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just want to have a lazy, chill day at home today. So that is what we're going to do. I got the samples that I ordered. I ordered three paint samples from Sample Eyes, and they were supposed to come tomorrow, but they actually came yesterday. So I was really excited. Um, and I got my sample of Alabaster, and I really like it. 99% sure that's the color that I'm going to use for this kitchen wall behind me and like the whole downstairs and probably the whole upstairs. Um, there is my sample of alabaster. That square right there and that was agreeable gray and that was either white. I definitely like the alabaster so I think that's going to be my color. So I got the kids set up with a movie. They're watching Elf. Yeah, they like to watch Christmas movies all year round. Um, I don't know if I told you, but it is like a rainy, yucky day today. It's been raining all day, and actually it's, there's like a tropical storm, which I didn't even know about until last night, but I think, well, that is what we're getting today. So it says we could have like tropical storm rain or something later today, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to make myself some lunch. It's just leftovers from last night. It's like orange chicken and rice. The orange chicken was from... BJ's? Yeah, BJ's. Um, so I'm gonna make some of that. I started working on this little wall in the kitchen and let me know what you guys think. Um, so I'm gonna do, this wall is gonna be alabaster. I actually have a little sample card of it up right here. That is Eider White. I don't know why this one, the spot came out darker. I think like I didn't mix the sample and I did the first stroke like right here and it came out darker. But that was kind of weird. But that's al alabaster. So all of this is going to be that color. And then you come over here. And Greg was saying that this wall should be the same color that we're going to do that wall and that wall. And I think I'm going to do that that balmy, balmy seas color that I tried painting over here that I didn't like. I think that's what I'm going to do over here if I like it. I haven't tested it yet. But Greg thinks that this wall should be that color too. And I don't know, I feel like I just don't want that blue color over here. Cause he said like, this isn't like the backsplash wall. So it should be the same color as those walls, but I don't know. I think I just want to do this wall alabaster too because it still has the countertop there. And I don't want that blue to kind of like give off any color over here. Like I don't want it to like reflect, if you know what I mean? So. Let me know what you guys think. What would you do? What color would you paint this wall? Would you do it the backsplash color, like carry the same color right over there? Or would you do it the color that you're doing the rest of the kitchen? Anyway, with this wall, what happened was I actually showed this a little bit on Instagram. The paint was just peeling off the wall, like this color. So it's like this color and then there's like white, but then there's like another paint underneath. I don't know what's going on, but that darker yellow color was just peeling off in sheets. So I had to peel like all of it off as much as I could. And then this is what's left. I don't know what this is, drywall maybe. Um, so I have to like fix up this whole wall before I can prime it and paint it. So I was editing this video last night and I thought I was just gonna have enough to put up a video. I didn't, I only had like five or six minutes of footage or something. It was just like so scattered. It was clips I recorded over a couple days. So that was what you just saw. Um, and then what you're gonna see after this is I was gonna start like a new video because I thought the other one was done and I was just starting a new one. Um, so I was showing you when I was about to paint this wall in here. It's actually done right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you those clips when I was starting and after I finished. Um, yeah, the wall is done behind me except for that. Is that done? Yeah, I did that. I just didn't do, I didn't do this wall yet, but you'll see that right here. All right, so I got this completely finished unless I see some spots that I need to go over again, but so far I don't. I think the one coat is gonna be good. And I did this wall and like this little piece of wall right here. But now I'm about to work on 
this side um, it's pretty much all sanded uh, Greg helped me do that the other day but I did I think I showed you this before like I uh, like patched up a little bit of the wall here so I'm gonna sand this down oh you know what I need to do I need to take this off darn it or maybe I'll just try to like loosen this up because darn it I still have to do this here so I can't finish this wall yet Arrgh. I'm taking the chair rail off the entire living room, so maybe I'll try to get this down so that I can actually finish this, because I was hoping I was going to be able to paint, but I can't really if I still have to do this spot right here. Okay, so, change of plans. I thought I was going to be done painting this whole section today, but I don't think that's going to be the case, but I'm going to don this handy dandy, whatever this thing is, aspirator mask thing because I should probably be wearing this all the time when I sand like spackle and stuff but this is compound so I don't know. Greg was saying that I should wear this so he wore it the other day so I'm gonna wear it while I'm doing this. This stuff like flies everywhere even more than spackle I think so I'm gonna do that. snowed the stuff makes such a mess but yeah so got this pretty much done there's like a little dent right there maybe I'll fix that but I need to do this spot right here that's like right where the baby gate was so I need to fix that up and I thought there was somewhere else well obviously here but I don't know. I'm gonna fix up this wall. I'm gonna try to get that down too. This thing popped off like so easily. Some of the nails are still in the wall though, so I have to pull those out, but super easy so yeah for that all right chair rail number one is gone and that is what I have to fix last on this wall like I don't know I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that I'm just gonna paint over that but maybe I'll do something with that I don't know um, but yeah, patch up that and then I'll finally be able to finish this wall and paint it. So yeah, that is how far I got with this yesterday. Um, so I'm still gonna try to finish that other wall. I uh, like patched it up and everything. I have to sand, I have to sand it. I'm like forgetting like what I did. I have to sand more and then I'll be able to paint this and then that whole section will be done. And then I'll just have this still to work on, which still has a lot of the like wallpaper on there and then this whole wall like I haven't even touched it yet so I'm gonna have that to do too and I'm still gonna like when I get all this down I'm gonna try out that blue color over here and hopefully I like it I really want to use that color in here and I know a lot of you guys have been saying to just do it like all light color just do the same color everywhere and I do like that and then like I could decorate with like accessories and add that color in elsewhere and not have it on the wall but i don't know i've been in this phase or whatever of like not wanting a lot of accessories and not wanting a lot of decorations i just want like as little as possible i guess because it feels like eye clutter to me when i look around and i see a lot of stuff like i just hate seeing stuff like this shelf over here behind me is just always full of junk and i hate that so i'm trying to like clear things off and not add more stuff so i feel like i like the idea of just having that color on the walls and just bringing that cheery happy color into the kitchen into the room that i spend the most amount of time in um yeah i don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see how i feel i know i loved it in the old little apartment when we were in there i loved it so much i don't know we'll see if it ends up working in here or not but i got noah here he's having a snack he did not take a nap this morning right no nappy no so you're gonna go you're gonna go in for an early nap after we have lunch and yeah. then yeah and then mommy will get some work done <laughs>
So you saw this yesterday. This is, you know, the backsplash that I painted alabaster. And I like it. Like, I do like the white color. It's not such a bright white. I mean, I'm going to leave this. I'm not painting this over again because I think I do want to put up, like, a backsplash. If I don't do a real backsplash right now, which I might not because I'm trying to save some money, I might do one of those, like, stick-on backsplashes just so I can have something here in the meantime. I just feel like this is going to get so scuffed up. Like, it already got scuffed up. I don't even know, like, I can see. I don't even know what that's from, but I tried to, like, clean it, and it doesn't clean off, so it's just scuffed from something. But I just feel like this is going to be so hard to keep looking nice. So I think I do want to put like a backsplash back here, even just one of the stick on ones so that I can easily like wipe it clean, especially with like cooking and food splashes and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to paint over this. I think I'm going to put something on top of it, maybe sooner rather than. But since I've been looking at this color and I've just been like imagining the rest of our house, that color, I feel like it's too white. Like I feel like it's going to be too white and too hard to keep clean especially with kids and touching the walls and stuff and even I touch the walls sometimes like you know without even thinking about it like going in and out of a room touch the wall which it might not be that bad because that will be like the trim or whatever and that will be like a like a glossier paint but I don't know I just don't want to be crazy about trying to keep our walls nice and white and noticing every single little mark that ends up on them so I am reconsidering alabaster for the whole house. Um, I bought those two cans of it, so I do decide to use a different color. Hopefully I can use that somewhere. I was thinking about maybe using it in the basement, like maybe the laundry room or something, because I do want to like kind of do over the laundry room a little bit, make it a little bit nicer down there. So maybe I'll use it there. I'm sure I'll use it somewhere. Um, but I'm glad I didn't go out and purchase like six gallons of that and then decide that it was too white. Um, so, looking at a couple different colors, I was just gonna show you on my phone, but that wouldn't make any sense because the color would come out all weird. Uh, but white heron is one of them. One of them that I'm looking at, and then aesthetic white is another one which I actually have the paint chip for. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and order a couple more of those peel, peel and stick samples from Sampleize because that was really nice. Um, no, I didn't have to deal with the painting. It's cheaper than buying the samples of paint in the store. As long as you buy a couple, then you get free shipping. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. Get, so I st I'm still leaning towards white, but just not that white. Like, I feel like that's too white. So it's a couple days later now, but I took some clips to add into this of the last thing that I did for this video. Um, and that was just uh, changing the light bulb in the ceiling, like all the way up the stairs in the hallway there's one light bulb um and it was so bad it was like so yellowy and so dim and yeah so i changed the well first i took the shade thing down and it was so gross it was so dirty inside so i cleaned that i just washed it in the sink and it came out pretty good we are gonna get like new like light fixtures like change them all out um we're having a couple done soon we're having one put in madison's room and one in the playroom and then we'll get around to switching the other ones but for now I just cleaned it and you know put it back um, and I put I tried putting a different a different bulb in it. it was like a I don't know it was like a bigger like LED one and I couldn't get it in like I couldn't get the shade I got the bulb in but then I couldn't get the shade back on so I gave up and used like a smaller bulb but it was still giving like such bad light um, but then yesterday Greg tried for me and he got like a good bulb back in there so now we have a nice bright bulb but we tried like I think a daylight one and it was just like blaringly bright so I don't know what we have in there now I think it's like I don't know I have no idea actually <laughs> but it's giving a nice light or whatever it is but anyway wrap up this vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys all for my next one bye